everyone, thanks for tuning in to Project I Want to Live. I'm Melissa. And I'm Vanna. Man, these last couple weeks have been quite the roller coaster. Mm -hmm. And, you know, our last video, we were talking about Melissa having an injury, you know, persevering through it, you know, having the right perspective, not falling into temptation, and etc. Unfortunately, the injury progressively got worse. <laughs> Yeah. And there were a few other things that had happened that were definitely very, very challenging. And I was kind of thinking myself the last couple of weeks, like, you know, this, this journey has been pretty good. Melissa changed her eating habits, meal prepping, working out, you know, being very clear with her emotions, what's going on, just everything. Everything's just in great. order. Yeah. yeah, everything's in order. Everything's moving strong. You know, pounds are going down, like the, you know, everything. Just great. And not like I'm a negative person or anything, but I'm just thinking like, well, we're 44, po 44 pounds down. We still have about more, a little more than half way to go. Mm -hmm. There has to be something else that is going to trigger some type of challenge or et cetera. So again, not like I was anticipating it, but I just know that in life, you, for you to get to the next level, for you to get to a place that you've never been before, you have to go through some type of challenge sure. that will really test you to see, is this something that you really want? Are you very serious about it? So the realization is really success is not just that straight road, that straight path. It's definitely that roller coaster ride where you're gonna have those up times where you feel amazing, but you're gonna have the down times where you're like, man, everything has hit the fan, I don't know what to do. And you just have to trust the process mm -hmm. because the process is that it's up and down and you can't change it and just really understanding those things. So if Melissa, if you can go into, go into a little bit more of what was going on with you, right. uh, your emotions, things like that, and some of the realizations that you've gone through as well. Yeah, like Vanna said, the injury uh, progressed and I actually finally went to a chiropractor because it got to the point where I couldn't even move. And I dislocated a joint in my shoulder, which spread to a nerve um, to my neck and it was just really bad. And it was like a blow because the first thing he said is like, I, I, I told him my story, what we're doing. First thing he said was, you can't work out for two to four weeks. And I'm like, what? Like, I've been working out for four to five days a week since like January. That's like crazy, you know? So that was the first blow. Um, and right after that, a week later, I got so sick. I haven't been sick in probably two years maybe a year and a half, and I didn't just get sick. I got to the point where you can't sleep, you can't you can't breathe, you can't swallow, you can't think, your head is like the size of the earth. And it was just like, man, maybe in the world of problems, that's not that big, but when you're in a process and you're, you're, you're in a journey and you're like focused, it's like bam, bam, bam. And then amongst other personal problems that were going on. So definitely, it, it really had me at a crossroad. I was to the point where I was feeling like crap because when you don't work out, your energy level is the first thing that goes. My body felt like loose and just weird and I just felt tired, I felt depressed, I felt moody, I felt emotional. And being at this crossroad, I said, okay, so I can either pick up the pieces and start making, keep making healthy choices or I can clearly not work out, start eating bad, feel sorry for myself, make excuses, etc. And it got to that point where I started to slip a little bit on the eating, um, was complaining a little bit more, and I had to like really think and say, you know what, this is just all part of it, like Vanna said. The two learning lessons I definitely learned was trust the process and be patient. It's bigger than me. It's not gonna be smooth sailing like she said. I'm gonna get bumps in the road. I can either be like everyone else when you go through problems and just kind of keep going down or I can face my fears and test my character and just pull through and find the inner strength to have the, the commitment and the perseverance um, and the discipline to not fall back into old eating habits, which is the most important thing, especially this time of year. So um, I'm feeling better this week. This week I actually got to work out. My shoulders um, healed. It's been about a little bit over four weeks since the injury. Um, I worked out three times this week and I feel a lot better. I kind of got my eating under control. I took control again, started cooking at home again and just really putting everything aside. And I really reflected on what happened this last year. I looked at some old pictures. A friend of mine recommended to look at some old pictures. So sometimes when we're in a problem, 
all we do is focus on the problem. Right. But if you can step out for a second and say, you know what, there's a lot more than just, than just this problem. And if you can appreciate how far you've come, then the problem doesn't seem as big anymore. Right. So that's it. I'm definitely very proud of you. Uh, again, everything is not 100% cleared up, but we're definitely in a better place than where we were earlier this week and things like that. So we have a long way to go. Definitely more updates to give you guys, but that's it for this time. So see you guys soon. Bye-bye.